welcome back guys to this and much more podcast we're here at the mania market at post houston with our first yep. guest lx3 yep. so tell us what do you do what do you got going on well hello guys my name is lx3 try to try to talk right in the mic Oh, I'll yeah. talk right there. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> nah, you're good. <laughs> Never done this before. Nah, yeah, yeah. Uh, my name is Alex3, and I'm a professional wrestler. Oh, oh okay. shit. How'd you so. even get into that? And, you know, we go way back. Yeah, we go way so, back. <laughs> way, way, way back. Yeah. And, you know, since always we love wrestling, we used to play wrestling. Oh, and shit. then out of nowhere, I was like, man, this is what I want to do. Yeah. I, wanna, I see it on TV. I want to see myself on TV. So I decided to go for it. Badass. Is it like crazy. a career thing or do you just do it on the side? Like, So right now, I just started I'm one year in, but I, I do want to do it as a career where that's where I live out. Oh, so, oh yeah, nice. So. And it's crazy because I feel like that was never a thought in my mind that you could become a wrestler, you know? Yeah, but, like, I, but I did start seeing the wrestling scene like kind of come up a little bit in, like in Houston and yeah, stuff, Yeah, like you know? who thinks like, oh, I'm going to be a wrestler as a career, yeah, like, right? Like, that's crazy. Yeah, everybody says the same thing, but it's just like any other sport. You yeah. have to train, you have to go for it. and. Does it hurt, like, or no? <laughs> it does hurt. I'm actually bruised right now. Oh, I had a match shit. Friday, and I've been bruised on my side. For like a week already. Damn. Yeah. It does so, hurt. so the injuries are for real. Everything's real. It's real. Really? It's real. Yes. I feel like so. What was fake in the in the big ones? It's just the acting part, like the stories. The concept is the storylines that is scripted. Yeah. But everything else is real. The hits hurt. The training hurts. Yeah. And <laughs> you're like, hurt. it hurts. Yes, it hurts. <laughs> That's crazy. So what do you have going on? Do you have like a match coming up anytime so, soon or? I mean, I don't know when this is airing, but tonight... This is going to air on Monday. On Monday. Uh, we have... Uh, I have one next weekend, which is, uh, what, July? I can't even say. Let me look at that. <laughs> Wait, no, you're no, fine. You're yeah, guys, so he's our first guest, so we hope that this... Is, the sound sounds good, because it's our yeah. first time doing, like, at a pop-up, and... There's we're a lot pretty excited. Yeah, yeah it's, it's like a lot going on. It's like our first time that's like, oh, yeah. shit. Like, and not in a controlled environment. No, yeah. it's not. But when do you have your next? My next one is next Saturday, July 25th. And July it's... or June? June, June, no, 25th. June 25th. June 25th. June 25th. Yeah. Sorry, I have my dates mixed up. <laughs> June uh, 25th. And it's going to be at... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it changes Boy, all busy, the time. Boy, busy, busy. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So it's going to be at Tampico Madero. At, uh, at Almiro Gino Road. Oh, okay. So it's okay. on the south southeast side of Houston. Oh, okay, okay. Do you, are you gonna post that like on your on yes, your uh, actually, Instagram or? Yes, I'm gonna start posting that one because it's next weekend. So I try to post my matches like a week before or two weeks uh, of events so people oh, can start okay. getting to it. Okay. okay, cool. Because we're gonna put your information, your e your uh, Instagram, your Instagram name on yes. our description. So like that, if y'all wanna go check them out at yeah. a wrestling match. He's gonna have one June twenty fifth at Tampico. Yes. He'll post the he'll post the post flyer, the flyer. Yeah. on his Instagram. So y'all make yeah. sure to give him a follow. Yeah. Um, last, I was gonna ask you one more thing. What? Uh, you said how you got in. How, what's been like the worst fight you've had? The worst fight. Uh, it's actually last Friday. Really? Yes, really? when I got hurt. It's up, it's up on my on my Instagram. The guy flies off and he lands on the on side, the like side. literally foot first, and and mm. y'all hear me screaming, and that's a real scream. <laughs> it hurt like hell. He said that's oh. a real scream. And what do what do your kids think about like? So you doing yeah, everything? that's kind of a hard thing. My kids have not seen me wrestle. They haven't. They haven't not what? seen. Me. Are you scared to take them, or you just don't want them to see that? It, the thing is, uh, since they're my kids. I want I want to be like perfect. I want to be like the best that I could be. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like I still need a little bit more. So that's why they haven't seen me. And that's why I haven't taken them because mm. I want to be the. When I go up there, I want them to see me as a superhero. Yeah. So there's oh, yeah, no yeah. there's no space Definitely. for mess ups or nothing. So that's what I'm waiting for. So I get everything good. Yeah. Oh yeah, for sure. Well, what's Man. your Instagram name? My Instagram is d underscore lx3 and also on Twitter. On Twitter? Yeah, those are my two And on platforms. Facebook too, right? I've I still don't have a Facebook. I go with my personal name. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. That's where I've seen it. Okay. So any anybody you want to give a shout out to or anything? Uh, I want to give a shout out to my mentor, Lowrider, and uh, so Jason Sullivan, and the live action wrestling at school. 
for sure. That's where, that's where I started. That's where I'm going to school to wrestle because you do have to train for it. I was going to say, you yeah, went to I school for it? Yeah, you know, school, it's yeah. not like, oh, I want to be a wrestler. You go and, and you get go. in the ring. No, it takes time. It takes dedication nah. and a lot of bumps. That's what we call them, bumps. Because <laughs> Hell yeah. Well, all Let's right, go. guys, check him out. His info will be in the description below uh, as long as, like, with everybody else's that we're going to have later on today. So, y'all make sure to tune in. Yes, sir. Thank and that's you. it. Peace. And we're back again with another guest today. Tell them who you are. Uh, I'm Alex Rios. Uh, what you call it? I'm a tattoo artist. Um, I am based in Houston, Texas. I work at Gold Rush Collective. And I'm here to support my baby. Uh, Rihanna <laughs> Velasquez, her Instagram is at re.up, R-H-E-A dot U-P, and uh, yeah. But don't worry, uh, guys, yeah, yeah, she's yeah. going to come yeah, on here, too. Yeah, she'll come through on here, too. Way. So let's tell us, tell us, what made you want to be an art, like a tattoo artist? Uh, Try to speak a little bit closer to yeah, the mic, bro, yeah. just because well, of music and stuff, but. I got you. Uh, one of the things was probably my grandfather. Uh, art has always been in my life, and uh, it was one of those things where, like, my, my people were, like, uh, you know, hey, you got good grades. Here's an art set, you know. Yeah. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. Here's an art set, you know what I mean? <laughs> so um, it's always something that's been dominant. And then uh, around uh, 16, 17 years old, my dad had a conversation with me and was like, you, know, you kind of got to figure out what you want to do because you're going to start paying bills, you know. Yeah. And uh, it literally took me about 30 minutes to figure it out. And I went back to the room, uh, chopped it up with him. And long story short, he gave me a year. And... Uh, a day before my birthday, I got into my first shop at 17, and I've been doing it ever since. Damn. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Wait, so do you want to share your age or no? Uh, I'm 28. I'll be 29. Oh, so you've, you've been doing it for, like, what, more than 10 years already? Yeah, over 10 years. Yeah. Oh, yeah. damn. Yeah, yeah. You know what's crazy? I feel like at a first glance, people probably won't think you're a tattoo artist. Oh, yeah. all the time. I didn't you know? think you all were a tattoo artist. I feel like people think, oh, a tattoo artist is all tatted yeah. up, tatted or, like, I get I people. I mean, he does you know, Yeah, tats. Yeah. But. I get people who are like, uh, hey, man, like you're an apprentice or whatever. And I'm yeah. just like, at first it used to bother me, but now I'm just like, I let them see my work. And yeah. then they're like, oh, you're not an apprentice, you yeah, know? Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, man, I definitely don't. I don't think I fit the description of a tattoo artist. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But what, what's like, one of been, what's been one of the biggest pieces you've done? Uh, one of the biggest pieces probably um, usually just like sleeves. I work on sleeves and legs mostly. Uh, I started a few back pieces, but those are definitely like something that has to be um, with time. Yeah, with time, you know what I mean. Yeah. Um, usually, like sleeves. Sleeves are probably like the biggest thing that I work on, like that. Okay. So. Do you think that's good? That's because it's the it's it's the first first thing that people get done. Oh uh, yeah. Like, Sometimes like if uh, they rather get you know most of the time people get something small or they uh, they wind up getting something that's just like like how your arm is you know what i'm saying yeah, yeah. just like real big you know what i mean okay yeah. okay and what's the longest you've gone like oh, in one uh, session uh <laughs> probably like 12 hours like 12, 12 hours, hours? Oh, yeah i was tired Wait, with breaks yeah with breaks yeah. Oh, with breaks yeah, but yeah, i was imagine, tired yeah. say, damn because you did what eight eight hours no breaks one Bethel, time. Bethel goes hard bro uh, he nah. goes hard, dog. He has a heavy hand, bro. Yeah, fuck. he does. <laughs> Damn, I can't. Yeah. I'm thinking like 12 hours. That's like fuck. Yeah, that's a whole like, day thing. Like yeah. I always tell my clients, like clear, clear your schedule, and like you're, you're my family for the day. So like we're gonna eat, we're gonna chill, we're gonna laugh. You know what I mean? And just we're gonna make a day out of it. You know? How, how, how would you describe your work? Like you know how there's heavy contrast or? Oh uh, yeah, I do a lot of. Uh, I would say black and gray realism. Uh, I usually stick to anything uh, black and gray, uh, mainly like statues, uh, religious imagery, flowers. That's the stuff that I like to do. Um, I do little bangers here and there, uh, but uh, I usually get hit with like the larger pieces. Okay, like that's that. dope. That's dope. What's your Instagram? Where can they find you? Uh, my Instagram is tattoos by Alex. T a t t o o s b y a l e x. And then uh, you can check out the shop as well, uh, Gold Rush Collective Tattoos. Um, all my homies work there, and we're just trying to get it. So. Yeah. yeah, for sure. So we are going to have a full-on episode pretty With soon. Him. Yeah, it's uh, already booked. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, you know, once you guys, like, watch peak. this. Yeah, this, this is, is yeah, just literally, like, we the... try to get in, like, five questions. And just so y'all know what's coming. This is yeah. live at five yeah. right now. <laughs> yeah. But, but again, our, Alex, bro, appreciate you coming yeah, through, bro. Yeah. Thank you, and, thank you. you know, wish y'all luck on, on the rest yes. of the day. Hopefully, y'all well, sell out. 
Yes, Man, sir. it's looking like it. Yeah. It's really oh, looking I'm like excited I went over to there bring her super over busy. here. Yeah. <laughs> but, but all right then. Right? That's it. Yeah. Awesome. Peace. And we are back with another guest today. Tell him your name and what do you do? Hi, I'm Rihanna, and I actually go by Re. I sell vintage clothing. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so you, your name is Rihanna, but your logo says Re. Re. Re up. Re up. Yeah. Okay, so I was going to ask, like, is it re up? Like, like get more? Like, yeah, re so up like, on my so merch? How like, we kind of did it? I, I, actually, Alex came up with the name. Oh, okay. But he thought of it as, like, so you know, vintage, and when you buy stuff, you, like, re up your, your, your style, yeah, yeah. re up yeah. your, like, your clothes. Your, your closet. Yeah, yeah your yeah, closet yeah. in general. So just re up. It's yeah, just yeah. Great. No, yeah, because when hard. he told me, he's like, I wonder how she came up with the name. And he's like, do you think it's re-up? And I'm like, well, I mean, that's the only thing that makes sense. Like, <laughs> yeah. so but I'm like, oh, like re-up, like your closet, your yeah, your clothes. Exactly yeah, yeah, yeah. How is it going right now? Good. Like, Because he told me that you were like super busy, like right so now. So busy. Yeah. So yeah. busy, yeah. Do you feel like you've gotten back with your investment? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, within the hour, I already. There really? was a girl who literally... But all my women's basically. Yeah, really? yeah. Alex was selling us, right? Like, yeah. That she just like picked them all out just or whatever. Grabbing. Damn. That's, that's so bad. crazy. Oh, yeah. Do you have any other pop-ups coming up, or like, is this like a normal thing that you do, or? Wait, what was the question? Like the pop-ups. Is it like you always do them, or is this your first one? No, it's my first one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit. And were you nervous? Because we were nervous, like, to come on here. Yeah. yeah. You know? Honestly, I was anxious but excited. Like last night, I could not sleep. I could not sleep. <laughs> Do you think I'll you'll be doing right away. Yeah, we, we, <laughs> got home, we knocked out because we had a, a podcast last night. So when we got home, like after picking up Milo, yeah. I was like, I, he's like, man, I got a lot of stuff to do for tomorrow. And I'm like, I'm so tired. Yeah, I'm tired. Just yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So, man, man is, it, is it what you expected? Do you know, is it more? Is it overwhelming? Oh, man, I don't know. I guess that's what I expected. Yeah. Honestly, I, I had never been someone. Like, did well, you go us. to them without without uh, ever being like a, a, vendor. a vendor yeah well, i had never gone oh first no one. no but like did she attend oh, the other, ones? other yeah. ones yeah you did yeah because yeah. I, li I would like to uh check him out because i knew i was gonna do them in the future so i'd oh. like to see like get some notes before i did it yeah. do you feel like this is something you're gonna do like oh yeah like we're, i'm already talking about like taking notes for the next time like what i okay. need to add i need more racks and like yeah. just more stuff. more stuff yeah, yeah. That's yeah. about Talking about yeah. getting like a storefront booth instead of just the one I have. Because no, yeah. it seems like if I had a big one. Were you scared? Because obviously since it's like a whole vintage community out here, there's a lot of vendors. Yeah, you know? I was so. scared. I was like, man, like I didn't come in with any expectations. I didn't want to. I was just like, I'm going to come enjoy the vibes. If I sell stuff, cool. Cool, if not. And, but yeah. So. so what's your Instagram? Where can they find you? So you can find me at Reup on Instagram and Depop for my shop, and yeah. So we'll put her Instagram on the description as well. Yeah. And stay tuned because she's scheduled already where, with Alex. Yeah. <laughs> so and also <laughs> also Rio modeled for Superior for oh, the next yeah. drop. And um, she's gonna model for AI Mas too. Yeah. yeah. She's a whole model and everything now. You I know, know she's like, a model. <laughs> I'm <Nine -year>. a model. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, guys, thank you for watching. Right, yeah. stay tuned. Peace. Welcome back, guys. We're here with another guest. Yes, Tell him your name. Uh, hey, what's what up? Do? My name is Herb. Uh, I own the brand Throat. It's just the shirt right here. I'm that's wearing a badass shirt. Thank you. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's. Uh, I do that. Uh, I work at Premier Select, and I do like most of the social media stuff. I do graphic design stuff for people. Yeah. So you designed your shirts by yourself? Uh, this one actually. One of my friends, his name is Karis, he designed it for me, he drew it for me. And I just gave him like the idea, I'm like, okay, I wanna do this, I wanna do that. And like, this was like based on, uh, so this is the third cherry drop shirt. Okay. So I call it the cherry bomb shirt, right? So the first one I did, uh, it was like kind of plain, but then from that one, I like upgraded it and changed it a little bit. And then okay. this one, I incorporated the cherries on it. Yeah, and then on the back of the shirt, it has the, my character, which is uh, Lumi, he's eating the cherries in the back. Oh, okay, okay. So, how like this started was because, oh, I, like I grew up with my mom and everything. We'd always go grocery shopping, and so I didn't like going grocery shopping with her. But I was like, this, I grew up. I was like the middle child. So oh, like, you're the my, middle child. Yeah. So like <laughs> my older my older sister was always like at school. 
So when I was younger, I, it was always me and my mom. So uh, in the grocery store, I would always eat like the cherries and grapes. Oh, you know shit. how like you just open yeah. it up. So I always, I always did that. So I, I try to incorporate a little bit of me in like and everything that's, I do. That's okay. what I. You think you think starting off on your brand, you kind of like hit the ground running with like some crazy designs, or you started simple? Nah, man. I, when I first started, like it was. I feel like it's been, you know, step by step. You know, growing, learning. When I first started, my designs weren't that good. I didn't know what I was doing, but I like I had this like vision in my head of what I wanted it to look yeah, like, yeah. and that's what I just aimed for. And I'm like, I I just had that design there, and I'm like, okay, you know what? This looks okay. I, I have to start somewhere, you know? Yeah. And I decided to get like a sample made. I'm like, let's see how it does. People liked it. And so it did good. And I just, from there, I did more and more and more learning ar- along the way. So, so yeah. the brand the brand is called Throne? Throne, yes. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So, all right, so how would you describe Throne? Like, I feel like Throne is a little bit like, it has like the Houston name, right? Throne. Yeah, Throne. But I don't try to, the only thing that, it incorporates like the Houston thing. It's like the grill. But other than that, I try to bring in my own thing. Like everything, every drop I've had has to do something with me personally. Okay, yeah. And like I try to incorporate that with every drop. Like the first, well, like the, the collab I had with Future Retro, it's like a lightning shirt. And it's based on Back to the Future. Like that's yeah. one of my oh, favorite movies. Okay, that's better. And so his uh, name of the story is uh, Future Retro. So I'm like, why don't we do like a Back to the Future thing? And we incorporated that. Uh, like the fishing one, I just did a fishing one before this one. And um, I did it because my parents, my whole family likes fishing, but oh, okay. I don't. But oh. so <laughs> I try to incorporate like my family and something I like, yeah. the brand. Oh, okay. So I made the fishing shirt and they liked it. And like stuff like that, I try to incorporate little yeah. things. That's uh, where your ideas come from, yeah, right? Like, like you. Just like-, like from inside what I've like, Something that gives me nostalgia, like for myself. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Something that, like, when I see them, like, oh, that means like this for me, you know? No, yeah. yeah. Stuff like that. All right. So this this uh, episode is dropping on Monday. If you want to give everybody like where they can find you, uh, your website and everything. Yeah. So my Instagram is throwed with two W's and two D's. Uh, the website is just throwed.com, just like that. Uh, yeah, that's really it. Our Instagram, right. yeah, and website. So we'll put his Instagram and website in the description below. We are going to schedule him for like a full on episode. Again, this is just a sneak peek of what's coming. Yes, so sir. thank you all for watching. That's it. Appreciate thank you, bro. You. Thank, thank you. you. And we're back, guys, with a new guest today. Tell him what's your name and what do you do? What's going on, everybody? My name is Thomas. Uh, I'm one of the guys that run Mania. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we're Thomas was supposed to be on Terry's podcast that day. Yeah. I was supposed to have all three of y'all, but I don't know. Something happened. A little miscommunication happened, but yeah, we're here now. That's what's going <laughs> to <matter. laughs> Yeah. Yeah. So he, what? How is it running Mania for you? Like, it's a. If I'm being honest, it's a. It's a dream, you know, to be able to do what you love and call it, and make a living out of it. You can only, you really can't ask for much more. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I'm yeah. blessed. You do that. You do Mania full time. Full time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, before Mania, I was uh, worked a nine to five, or really like a nine to nine, five days a week, six days a week, and uh, made good money. But it really wasn't what I kind of wanted to do. You know. Yeah. So we came with this idea to have the store, and uh, we just kind of took a leap of faith and said, "Well, if we're going to do it, let's let's do it full time." You know? Yeah, so yeah. Here yeah. we are. Damn, that's. So how was that? Were you scared, like, to take that leap and stuff, like? Um, man, I feel like talking about it, you get a little nervous, but when it actually happened, the breaking point of like, I'm gonna Doing do this full time. Yeah. And I said, told my job that I didn't want to do this anymore, that I was gonna go full time. It it was a, like a something off my shoulder because I knew that it was bound to happen yeah. you know yeah. but yeah so for all those young entrepreneurs out there I don't ever think you're ever ready you know but uh, taking a leap of faith it feels good and it's only going to push you to go harder yeah, yeah. how would you who would you say out of out of uh, Terry you and Kelvin who has the most vintage knowledge uh man that's tough it depends on what it is if it's wrestling you know Terry's going to know everything about it <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, and then I would say Kelvin's pretty knowledgeable too I'd probably I'd probably say Kelvin would probably be the most overall knowledgeable. Oh you know? shit, that's crazy. So who brings the business side of it into Mania, like the business part of it? I would say Terry and I. Terry. And Terry you? and I, yeah. Oh, okay. That's you know? cool. That's cool. Who was the one that mainly set set up uh, like the pop up? The pop up? 
Uh, so it's a collab event with our homie Jason from DFW, uh, from the Dallas-Fort Worth area. He approached us with the idea uh, to do this market. We had always been talking about it, but mm -hmm. to actually come into fruition, you know, yeah. kind of it kind of happened, you yeah, know. Yeah. Uh, but to answer your question, I was probably Terry. Terry kind of. Take yeah, because I was going to say, I seen Terry here yesterday, and I seen him here early in the morning, too. Yeah, well, he don't do nothing else, so he needs to <laughs> at least yeah. do this shit. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. Yo, that's crazy. Yeah. But we are going to set up another episode. Hopefully, we do, like, an hour-long episode. And I don't know if it'll be all three of them or just yourself. That way, we can get your whole story. Let and, you know, everybody has a story, so it'd yeah, be, it'd be cool, sure. you know. Yeah. Anytime you guys want me, just let me know. Uh, that one time was just kind of like a... A rare thing, you know what I mean? So yeah, I do yeah. apologize for that. No, you're fine. Uh, but I'm just glad to be a part of it now, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm, sure. gl I'm glad that we finally were able to, like, put a face to you because we talked about you on Terry's podcast. Ho hopefully good things. <laughs> 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 but uh, what's your Instagram that where they can find you at? Um, just the store page at maniatx.com. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, that's the website. At, at mania.tx is where you can find us. All right, All right, so we are going to put that. Of course, Mania is the big, the main host for the pop-up, so yep. make sure you give them a follow. And, again, we need to schedule you for, like, your full episode. I look forward to it. For sure. Yeah. Appreciate you, bro. Yes, Thank sir. you. Appreciate and we that. are back, guys, with three guests right now. Tell us who you are, what you do, and what y'all got going on. All right, my name is Estefan Obasi. This is Micah. This is Kyle right here. We're part of Unified HTX. Unify is basically we're trying to spread unity through Houston. We're trying to grow more, trying to bring people together, and that's really all it's about. It's like a, it's a brand, right? Yes. And y'all sell clothes. Is it thrift clothes or just like a brand brand? It's a brand brand. Oh, yeah. a brand oh, brand. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, that's dope. Because he so. asked me and he's like, oh, I'm like, I think it's a thrift. Like, but then it's badass <laughs> that it's a brand brand. Yeah. What got y'all started with the brand? Um. Or how did y'all come up with the idea? About two years ago, I mean, really just what it is, it's like, come from two di different ethnicities hispanic and nigerian so okay. it's kind of oh. funny to bring like those two cultures together yeah it's different people different cultures you bring them together they still like mess with each other so yeah. i really want to do that with everybody else that's oh, dope okay. yeah. that's pretty cool like so it's made yeah like the name says it itself right yeah. like it's like different cultures bringing it like yeah so y'all are houston based or yes. yeah okay so what kind of led you away because you know a lot of people that are in houston try to start a brand that's very Houston like yeah. theme, yeah. you know? Yeah. Are you guys like that or is it like you try to stray away from that? Um, I mean, trying to really stray away from it, but we just want to bring people together at the end of the day, yeah. you know. Either what is different brands, different people, artists, whatever. I think it would be cool to bring it together whatever they do. Yeah. 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 If you don't mind me asking, how old are y'all? I'm twenty one. Twenty. Twenty and nineteen. 19? Oh, Man, are like, boom, boom, boom. so young. <laughs> yeah. Because y'all yeah. look young, so I'm like, I wonder how old they are. Like, to but it's start, cool. Like, it's brand. cool that yeah. you guys are starting like super early. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah. uh, I'm 29. I'm third. Yeah, I'm turning 30 this I mean, year. So. The same age as us. I don't see no, no difference. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I'm 27. So. But yeah, that's cool. So, how uh, how do you guys feel about the whole pop uh, the pop up and everything? So I like it. I love it. Is this y'all's first one? No. 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 Oh, y'all do a lot of them. Yeah. Oh, okay. Like, yeah, that's oh, okay. really good. It's good exposure, you know. Yes, it is. So, what's your Instagram account? Where can they find you? Um, um, Unified ACX on Instagram. We have a website. Same thing, unifiedacx.com. We do make rugs as well. Oh, same really? as okay, yeah. okay. Oh, that's that's a whole different uh, brand we got too as well. Yeah. That's dope. If y'all don't mind me asking, what's y'all's rug page or what? Rug like? page is um that's underscore tuft. Okay, because yeah. we have uh, I have essential rugs. Yeah. And. Uh, I pretty much have built like a whole community around it, so I get a lot of different people. I, I showcase everybody's art on there. Yeah. So if you guys, you know, just hit me up with a follow yeah, and then for sure. yeah, we will. I'll put y'all on there, bro. Like, yeah. it's, it's cool, yeah. it's cool. It. So yeah. for sure, we'll hopefully we'll schedule something with them. Uh, their info will be in the description below, so go give yeah. them a follow and thank y'all for joining us. Thank you for thank having you. us. Yeah. Let's go, it. peace. And we're back with another guest. What's yes, your sir. name? What do you do? Hi, how you guys doing? I'm Kevin. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. So, how would you describe yourself right now? Like, you're an influencer. What are you doing right now? Can you speak louder? I can't hear you. Oh, what, shit. What all do you do? All right, so I do social media. I do TikTok. Now, I'm transferring over to YouTube. I love doing YouTube. YouTube is so fun, man. Like, you do YouTube yeah. videos or, like? YouTube videos, yeah. I do, like, like vlogs. Just, like, like stuff I do, like, in my day in the life. Like, yeah. what I'm doing. Because oh, okay. that's, what, that's basically what the people want to see. Yeah. What you're doing, what you're up to, this and that. They want to keep up with you. They want to get close to you on a personal level. Yeah. You're gonna sometimes, sometimes you gotta interact. You gotta, you gotta keep the people entertained. 
yeah. that's, that's yeah. all it's all about. So, but yeah, man. How, how old are you right now? I'm 20. You're 20, 20 so it's yeah. it's a good start, you know? Like, yeah, I see a lot of young, young people, man. and then... Yeah, moving, moving to L.A. was crazy. I was 19. Uh, I was working at Home Depot. I was like, it, it was in the summer. It was too. It was like around this area. Last two years ago. Oh yeah. Yeah, it was so hot. I was pushing carts in Home Depot. Oh my God, is that gosh. where you and Santi met up, or how was that? Uh, no, me and Santi, me and Santi met high school, high school in uh, junior year, like 2018. Okay, what high school did you go to? Dobie. Oh, whoa, Dobie. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, He's like, whoa, wait. That's because I went to two high schools. Which I went, one? I went to South Houston, then I, Soho, then I went to Dobie. Oh, but I, fin okay. I finished off at Dobie. Oh, okay. But yeah. So you're from like that area. So yeah, I'm from like southeast. Pa okay. Yeah, Pasadena, south. Yeah, around. Okay. Here. Same here. Same yeah, here. Yeah, we're from like. Because you know, oh, really? I was in. Because you said you met him in in high school, and we went to his high school to uh, huh? East Early. Oh yeah, it's yeah. like around here, right? That's yeah, I think right? so. Yeah. Mil Milby Street. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, navigation. By navigation. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's dope. So that's dope, man. That we're all like from like. From like the same same the area, yeah, 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 like yeah, local. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's dope as fuck, man. Damn. What so, you, oh, uh, go ahead. What do you think is one of the toughest things that you know for you, like for your day and your life and everything? Like uh, a challenge, like waking up in the morning, bro. That's <laughs> waking up in the morning. I'm a, I'm not a morning person. I don't, and it's hard too because, because like I'm saying, like I'm transferring over to YouTube. And then it, it's not it's not it's not easy. You gotta you gotta keep you gotta be consistent, keep the people entertained, like I said. And yeah, man, it's hard. Yeah. Yeah. But it's, it's all good though. It's it's badass. I love I love doing and that. And then uh, just real quick, uh, I seen the last podcast you did with Sweet Tea, yeah. and y'all were talking about like hanging around with different like uh, people with the same mindset or millionaires hanging out with yeah, millionaires exactly. and all this shit. Yeah, so exactly. how do you feel about that whole mentality? No, it's it's <laughs> facts. Like bro, like. If you're hanging out with bad influence, you're gonna become the bad influence. If you become, yeah. if you're hanging out with people that like want, you know, just like if you if you're hanging out with people that want the best for you, like you're gonna become good. Like if you hang out with bad influence, you're gonna be in the bad influencer. If you yeah. hang out with good people, you're gonna be good. Yeah. Like, like exactly like you said. Like if you hang out with millionaires, you're, you're a millionaire basically. Yeah. 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 For sure. For sure. Yeah. Surround yourself with people that are gonna help you succeed. Exactly. Basically. No. Yeah. For she's sure. not lying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Facts though. <laughs> Damn. That's badass. So, yeah. what's your Instagram? Where can they find you? You can find me guys on Instagram. Uh, I just forgot because I changed it. <laughs> <laughs> but regardless, we're gonna have it. We're gonna have it linked in the in the. Look, like, do I show it to the screen or? Nah, no, just, just shout it out. It and then we'll we'll link it on the description. All right, my Instagram is Kevin G X V double I double I at the end. <laughs> and then just oh, yeah. make sure y'all give him a follow on Instagram and yes, check him yes, out yes. for updates on his thank YouTube. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys, yes, thank you guys for having us. me. Thank, thank you, guys. appreciate yes. you, bro. And we are back with another guest. Tell them who you are. What, what do you do? How's it going, y'all? I'm Chris Anton. I know Roly and Evelyn through Superior and through the Southeast, but I'm um, a Saucony rep, so I represent a footwear brand over here based in Austin, but from the H. So I'm here at, uh, what is this? The, the Mania Post Houston. Houston like. Swab Vintage Meet. Just uh, yeah. checking in, want to uh, cut it up with them and hang out. Yeah. yeah. So it's crazy because I feel like we've known each other for a long ass time. But this is actually the first time that we're like, is it the first time that we're yeah. actually sitting down and like, we're like talking, having a conversation in person? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, yeah, and first it. time that I meet him because Roland told me about him like a lot. Like, yeah. so what's what's the whole story? I mean, we're gonna have a whole podcast episode with you anyway. Yeah, really. Like, but just if you could summarize, like, what's the whole like? I run for tacos. Like, what does that represent? Like, bro. So I run for tacos. So I, I was working at Fleet Feet, a local run store, and I'm from Houston and. I always loved running and I wanted my Instagram to be like something that connected who I am as a runner to like my culture and yeah. tacos, being a fan of them here in the city and just being a Latino, like I liked how it just embodied everything and I was like, I run for tacos. It all made sense. I checked the Instagram name. It was just like straight up, no underscores, no letters or number or no numbers and it just all worked out. Yeah. And then I just started making stuff towards that. I mean, you made all the logos I've used so far, yeah, so yeah. you understand oh, yeah. and they're kind dope. of the direction I wanted to go with that. And yeah. uh, anytime people think of tacos, they kind of hit me up and tag me in something, um, recommend spots to me or take my recs for uh, serious. And I kind of had to be that persona now for people. And I, uh, yeah. I, I would say I'm a big taco connoisseur. Yeah. And I'm oh, always, I, love tacos. Uh, I always have the, the spots for people. What's your top spot in Houston? In Houston, I got to give it to my boy at Tacos Bomberos. Isaac, uh, I met him at uh, Poison Girl, Satellite, and uh, on Harrisburg. So okay. met him a lot of those places. Then eventually we did some cool events through Saucony, had him out. 
feeding 100 plus people and to me his tacos that his grandma taught him to make it just like they feel like home they have the right tortillas from Arandas or actually oh, okay. Michoacan. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, and he does it right. He has a Valentina crema sauce, some salsa verde. Oh, my God. Like, I'm he does it well. So I saw you were doing some uh, pupusas, right? Yeah, my yeah. mom. My, we're Salvadorian, yeah. so my mom, like, she makes I mean, them, and they're so that's good. That's an Salvadorian taco, pretty much. I mean, <laughs> yeah. I love the revueltas and then the repollo and all that good the stuff. The curtido, so, yeah, yeah, it's really good. For sure. Uh, have you yeah. tried any of the spots on Itchbrook? I have, okay, so Taco Madre was a spot growing up, and I hear a lot of stuff about El, uh, bar el Borrego. Yeah. Borrego, yeah. The, the, or the orange one, the, orange yeah. the metallic. One. Uh, but yeah, Taco Madre has always been one of my spots growing up. Where you I go just recommended that one yesterday. Really? I like Taco it. Madre, yeah. Yeah. Taco Madre, yeah. I go to the one out in East End, too, off of uh, Denver Harbor area. Yeah, there's one out there. It's the same truck. It's a green one. Mm. But yeah, those are my spots here in town. And then, of course, I got a lot of Austin spots and a lot of Dallas spots, too, since I travel a lot. Yeah. Uh, That's so badass. Yeah, yeah. So That's what's dope. your Instagram? I know you already kind of said it, but uh, where can they find you? It's I Run for Tacos. Um, on there, you'll find a lot of Saucony-related stuff through my job, what we're doing out in the community. Um, you'll see a lot of my personal life, um, me and my girlfriend, what we're doing, traveling, hanging out, goofing around. And uh, eating a lot of food, obviously, you got to show yeah. you the tacos all over the place in Texas. So yeah. a little yeah. bit of everything. So once well, again, we are. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you gonna say go something? ahead. Yeah, I was gonna say. So once again, we are gonna have a full episode, and uh, hopefully, we can schedule that soon. For sure. That way, we can get in depth of your life and your whole story and everything. Like go so, more into detail. Yeah. yeah. For sure. So yeah. For sure. We'll get that going, man. For I appreciate sure. you having me for this bit of time. And I know. Looking forward to being yeah, on the yeah. podcast. Thank you for, for coming. Real. Thank you for coming. Of course. Yeah. All right, guys. Appreciate thank you for watching. Peace. And we are back with another guest. Tell him your name. What do you do? How's it going? My name is Kelvin. I'm one of the owners here at Mania. Okay. Uh, it's me, Thompson Terry, but uh, I've been doing this vintage game for about five years now. Oh, really? oh shit, five years. Five years. Five you know, it's crazy. I asked Thomas, out of all three of y'all, who has the most knowledge? And he said you had the most knowledge. Oh, for sure, for yeah. sure. Yeah. I've been collecting, honestly, since like growing up, to be honest with you. Oh, yeah. I my dad, a group here. Moved to California, and whatever I learned from California, I brought it over here in Houston. Oh, okay. Wait, Man. so you grew up over there? I grew up here. Oh, here. Uh, grew up here uh, since I was 15, then moved over there for like five years, then I came back. Oh, yeah. okay. How is like the difference in the vintage scene from California and Houston? Honestly, like when I got back here, the vintage scene started getting bigger. I just did it as like a collection. And oh, my dad okay. was doing it. Yeah. And oh, okay. eventually, like the vintage scene just got popping. And a lot of the community was like, bro, you have a good collection. Let's just, you know, do something with it. Yeah. yeah. And I've been doing it ever since, man. What does your dad think now that you have mania going on? Well, he's like, what the hell? Like, what are you doing with these clothes? People are buying it? And I'm like, yeah. yeah. And, you know, I tell him, like, I just learned it from you. Yeah. And um, it wouldn't be, without him, it wouldn't be, there's no mania, to be honest yeah. with you. The motivation wouldn't have been there. For sure. For sure. Damn. For sure. Is he yeah. here right now or no? He's not here. My brother was here. They're from California. Oh, okay. I'm the only one that moved back. back. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. So, yeah, yeah. Damn. Damn. Did he, has he been to one of the, the events you have had? He been to the store one time. Oh, okay. But that was it. But he, he needs to come out here to like the actual event. The big event. Yeah, see, yeah. Man, no, for sure. Big. I'm sure he's proud though. No, I'm yeah, pretty sure, like. sure. Man, so how do you feel that you've like been able to bring all these people together and stuff like? It's crazy. I, 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 like, there's so much love from everyone over here. I didn't expect this many people. Yeah. But it's, crazy. it's good because we're able to bring all the community together. You know what yeah. I mean? No, yeah. Because sure. honestly, we got here like right at right at 11, and he's like, "Well, who's gonna be there right at 11?" We show up, and there's like people, like a shit little people. Like, there's no parking. Yeah. I'm like, like, oh, I shit. feel bad because I know in the last interview, y'all asked Terry like, "Where's Kelvin at?" <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and it just sucks because I'm always busy. No, yeah. Oh, okay. No, we get that we're busy because he's always busy too. Yeah. Like for the podcast, like I told him, we're gonna do a podcast just keep Fridays open at least for like three hours right so now right. he knows that Fridays like three hours is for like the podcast or whatever good, yeah because good, good. Yeah, eventually we do want to have like a full-on podcast with you like a whole hour or just to so hear story, yeah get your story you know? your background sure. and everything so it'd, it'd be a long dope, story bro. man no, it, yeah. it's, that's what we, we want. We got you know? the time yeah, for, sure. for a regular episode, right? Because yeah, right now sure, it's like, sure. a, just so y'all know who he is, put a face to him. If y'all watch Terry's episode, he's one of the three, right? Yeah, for sure. For so, sure. Yeah. so yeah, you know, I appreciate you coming, bro. Thank uh, you guys. Just to Thank you guys. share share a little bit of time with us and stuff. Yeah. But 
It was a pleasure. Yeah. So sure. look out, look out for his episode and everything. Do so. you have like a personal account or it's all through Mania? I do. Uh, my other Instagram is Ultra Rare Vintage. Okay, okay. Check it out. There. You'll see most of my collection over there. Awesome. Okay. Sure. So we're so going to have everything in the bio, yeah, right? Yeah. So uh, make sure y'all check the description below. Give him a follow. And thank y'all for watching. Yes, sir. Thank you guys. Peace. And we are back with another guest. Tell them your name. Tell them what you do. Uh, my name is Carlos. And I am the CEO, owner of Jab. Jab. How, how did uh, yeah. you come up with Jab? Yeah. So actually, my cousin was the one who came up with it. I have two sons. Their, sons, their names are Jonathan and Benji. And so it's Benji. just oh, so we just oh. and B. Oh, yeah. Jeff. Okay. But now I'm having a little girl, so we're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do. Oh, oh congratulations! <laughs> so, yeah, congrats. Oh, yeah, it's Jonathan and Benji's jab. Okay. What are y'all gonna name the do- your daughter? So her name is Maya, and we're in between Abigail, Maya, Abigail, or Maya Juliet. But oh. I want Abigail because that way I could just keep jab. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The yeah, yeah, be yeah, yeah. The Abigail, but. But that's kind of cheating though, because it's not there for her. <laughs> right, right. It wasn't originally, right? Oh, yeah, but, yeah. But yeah. That's funny. We can make it work. So, so what all do you do? Oh, yeah. sorry, babe. No, I was gonna say that. Like, how? What would you describe jab as? And stuff? Uh, it's just, it's just really like a fashion kind of thing. Like, it's just me expressing like my love for Houston on T-shirts. Okay. That's really all it is. Yeah. Like, uh, I, I've always worn graphic T-shirts since I was like a kid. Um, like a lot of this stuff too that you see that people thrift now like yeah. my mom used to work at a thrift store but she would just get them for me you know like old rocket shirts yeah, and stuff like yeah. that so I've always loved wearing Dang, shirts that's crazy. and you had the hook up uh, yeah, yeah I had the hook up without realizing you had the hook up but back then I didn't know I was yeah. going yeah, on yeah, yeah. that I was hooping in those shirts yeah. like <laughs> Ask me where those shirts are. I have no idea. I had so many of the championship hats. I mean, they're Do tore you regret up like not knowing at the time? Uh, it's just one of those things, right? Yeah. Where it's like I, I don't know. You don't I, don't, know. I, don't, I don't. I don't really wear that stuff now. Oh, okay. So I'm not really into it now. But I mean, I guess money-wise, maybe. Yeah. But mm. but but I mean, um, but the I mean, the whole reason why I got into this was because I was always going to like Old Navy buying shirts for like movies that I liked or okay. uh, TV shows. And I was like, well, why don't I just get my own machine and start making my own stuff? Yeah. And, yeah. and that's how it started. And then it started moving into more of a, like, what does Houston mean for me? What does my culture mean for me? And then slap it on a shirt. I'm like, hey, I like this. Oh, that's you know? dope. That's dope. That's so are your badass. shirts right now, are they like, uh, Houston like based. no, but they're like vinyl. Uh, how are they applied on the yeah, T-shirts? So, so all my stuff is vinyl. Okay. The only thing now that I'm doing that I learned is how to tie-dye. So, oh, okay. Like I do okay. a lot of tie-dye now. Uh, okay, so that's great. I'm sorry. sorry. I don't know. We're like at a. Yeah, we're at, we're at yeah. <laughs> I'm being attacked, but no, but but uh, it's it's tie dye. Like so, okay. my big thing now is tie dye. Like especially during the summer, uh, one of the things I like to do is throw out a new tie dye every month. So in April I had a tie dye shirt, and in uh, May I had one, then I have a new one. Oh, okay. So like I've been working a lot on my tie dyeing. Uh, oh, that's but, pretty dope. But it's all vinyl. But I mean, you know. Yeah. No, vinyl's a lot of work. Yeah, and it is a lot. Of, that weeding and stuff. So, do you do everything? Like, yeah, I do. Or, well, he pays I don't do wife. everything. I'm not gonna say everything because <laughs> if I say everything, my wife is gonna kill me. But okay. my wife helps me with the weeding. She okay, does 100 okay. percent of the weeding, uh, oh, which shit. is still it's a lot. But I tell it her it is a lot. It is a lot. It's not everything, but it yeah. is a no, lot. No, it's still like, a lot that it's goes a into good it. amount of the work. No, it right? is. But yeah. but I don't do everything. My wife does the weeding, and I like I come up with the designs. I I do the pressing. I do the tie dyeing. Like. All that stuff I do do, but the weeding, okay. my wife does the weeding. Let's just keep okay. make that. Even clear. though the weeding <laughs> is like time consuming, but it's very relaxing at the same time, honestly. To some people, it's weird because my cousin, my his sister, she says that too. She loves weeding. My yeah. wife, she'll tell you, she doesn't like it. She I just does like it. it. Oh, I shit. like it only if it's for me. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, so what? When you do it for me, like it's a, <laughs> it's a problem or what? No, like for us. I meant for us. Yeah, okay. Shit. <laughs> well, tell them what's your Instagram. Like, where can uh, they find you? So my Instagram is pretty simple. It's uh, jab underscore htx. Okay. And I'm on Instagram. Um, I also have a Facebook. And I, on my Instagram, I have a website. So I'm working on a website too. Oh, yeah. So I'm pushing that out too. And we yeah. will have his information in the description below as well. Um, yes. And we are planning on scheduling him for like a full-on episode as well. So yes. Yeah, for I'll have sure. To send you that way, that way we get like more of in-depth like, and like yeah. your whole this story. Is just and like again, we've said it before, and the other people, right? It's yeah. Super sneak peek. Of yeah, what's it, it was a meet and greet yeah. more than yeah, anything. Right? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, our first time meeting. Teasing y'all, so y'all, so y'all yeah. can get like a an so. idea of what's coming, right? For sure, for sure. But so. thank you for joining us. No, thank you for having us again, bro. Thank you for watching. Peace, peace. And we're back with another guest. Tell them yes, your name, tell them what you do. Hi, my name is Luis. Um, we sell aguas frescas. We're called Hugo. Um, we're oh, called after oh, after oh, juice in Spanish. Yeah, Hugo. Um, and, and we wanted to incorporate Houston in it, so so we changed yeah, the so spelling. Yeah, so it's Hugo for Houston. Houston and then, yeah. 
go for I'm explaining Google. to you like if yeah. you I know I'm like I get it but okay <laughs> yeah so so we like to say it's agua fresca from Houston on the go okay because ah, it's nice. bottled up so it, it's yeah. a little different okay. people aren't used to seeing it bottled up so oh that's and that's who cool. makes it so my mom prepares everything she she cuts up everything and oh, okay. and and you know prepares it and then we get together depending like the day before the event and mix it up. So you sell per event, like for pop-ups and yeah, stuff? Yeah, right now we just do pop-ups. Um, we do take some bulk orders, like we've done a wedding, we've done um, we've done some for like a senior night, they'll give it to their seniors, oh, or, wow. okay. or a teacher appreciation, and we'll take them some. So so what what made you, what gave you the idea to start that or what? So, so I, like I like horchata a lot. Okay. Know? Oh, I love horchata. But horchata is one of the hardest ones to get. Yeah. Because you know? everybody makes it different. Yeah. Yeah. Or or they'll try to like half fake, half real. Yeah. So mm. uh, everywhere I went, I would always try it. Like let me let me get a horchata to try it, and it just it wasn't doing it for me. So I'm like, if I w I want to bring a product that's gonna be good and, and everybody's gonna enjoy. It. Yeah. yeah. So. so are these like um, so your mom literally makes it from scratch like right? Yeah, like they're on natural. Fruta y toda? Con yeah. La fruta y toda uh, yeah. Eso? Damn. Oh, dang, that's crazy. And does she so. tell you that, obviously, the the money goes, like... Yeah, well, it's it's my mom, my two sisters, and my, my little brother. And, and you. And me, yeah, and then, I mean... So are you, know. like, the promoter of it, or what? Uh, we like way? to say I'm the face. Um, oh, okay, okay. That could have been a better face, but <laughs> I, I have to do, you know? Yeah, there's got to be somebody, you know, like... Um, and, yeah. and it was mostly my idea, like, it, it was me that brought the idea of to, to the them? table yeah. okay. and and they all decided to ride with me you know to help me out and Damn. Okay. I love that it's like a whole family thing yeah, right? it's a whole family yeah. business you know what I mean like it's pretty dope yeah and, and and we've I've always wanted to have like start my own business and stuff and and try different things okay. always looking for the next you know yeah, yeah. so right oh go, go ahead, ahead. Okay, I was gonna say. So right now it's kind of like on the side, or yeah, is it like? Yeah, we have our normal. Job. We okay. all have our normal jobs. Oh, okay, okay, oh, yeah. that's cool. Okay, yeah, because I was gonna say, like, what do you think is your next step for them? Uh, I mean, right now we're just trying to grow it, try to get like get people the to attention. try it, and yeah, yeah. and then because a lot of people they see the they see it bottled and then they're they're hesitant. They think that it might not be good or it might. Yeah. I actually like that it's in a bottle. Like I think it's. Yeah, uh, it looks real good, and I like yeah. how the label fits right. And y'all have a logo and everything, so yeah, yeah, yeah. We're, you know. That's good. Yeah, I really like the the whole thing. I am gonna try them out, guys, and then I'll give y'all some real yeah, feedback. Honest review. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, no paid, no paid sponsors. So you can your, your honest review. No, yeah, like I'll, I'll let y'all know what I think. We'll probably do one together. Roland yeah. doesn't like melon, so he probably won't have to try that one. Yeah, but we yeah. have we have ten different flavors, so you can. Oh, really? Oh, that's crazy. That's bad ass. So, uh, where else can everybody find you? Like your Instagram. Oh, I mean, we're on Instagram, Facebook. On Instagram, we're we're Hugo underscore Aguas. So. Okay. And it is H O U G O. G O. Yeah. On, on Instagram, right? Yeah, on Instagram. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's dope. That's dope. And you, you know? said y'all are on Instagram, Facebook? Yeah, Instagram, Facebook. Oh, okay. Instagram, okay. Facebook. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Well, that's like dope. you said, we're going to put his uh, Instagram in the description below. Again, uh, give him a follow. And thank y'all for watching. Thank you All for right, joining us. Thank you, bro. Thank you for having me. Peace. And we are back with another guest. Oh, somebody dropped shit, something. Party foul, shit. <laughs> so tell them, what's your name? What do you do? So my name is Gilbert Soul. I have been knowing these these guys for quite some time from East Early. Never really got to talk to them, but they're oh, yeah. amazing people. Thank and, you. And uh, just seeing them doing what they're doing is like astounding because you know they just keep pushing and trying to promote their artwork and all of that stuff and. And, and in general, like, you don't see this, you know? So whenever you see a couple that are together and they have a family and they're doing stuff like this, it's like uh, motivational. So yeah. I, I, I aspire yeah. to be what you are. Thank yeah, we're trying, we're trying, bro. But I appreciate you. Um, Pasano, what do you do? You're a music artist. What are you doing? Uh, I, I'm, I'm a musician. I'm trying to get more into the field of singing because there's other rappers that are better than me. Like oh, you okay. being one of them. So nah, I don't even rap no more, bro. But. <laughs> yeah, but you got some sick shit. Dude. Yeah, appreciate it. But uh, yeah, like I'm just trying to get into the, the singing field. You know, like yeah. I do production, and like I uh, actually just came from the studio right now. Uh, shout out to my boy David Yera. Y'all get at him if you, if y'all need like engineering. But uh, I have like this new project that I'm trying to work on right now. It's like a 
almost like a spin-off from my most recent album. Okay. It's called Spindle Top, and it's like a heartbreak album. Okay. Well, this one's more in the fields of like how I'm coping with the heartbreak. Okay, okay. So it's just gonna have like different vibes to it. And I'm, I'm planning on naming it Mood Swings. I already mm. have like the graphic designs for it already. Yeah. But my hopes are one day that uh, I'll be able to get some graphic designs by you. So I'm yeah, trying to work sure, myself up there. Yeah, I'm down, I'm down to work on anything. So. <laughs> yeah. I see y'all got customers, so I don't want to. I don't want to. No, no, you're no, good. No, you're, you're, good. Fine. you're good. Just tell them what's your Instagram, where they can follow you. My Instagram is Rely on Realness. Uh, that's for my music and for my graphic designs. That's uh, G Galavis Graphics. G R A P X X H. Sorry, I can't spell for shit. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's that's pretty much it. But uh, it's a blessing to be here yeah. and to have made it and speak Thank to y'all. Thank you. Like, well, I appreciate I'm you coming a, through, a, bro. Uh, you know, hopefully we're show. able to like shoot a full episode and stuff. You know, that way yeah. we get into more depth by your story and everything. So I'm yeah. dope, man. Yeah. His I'm info will be in the description. Uh, if anything, y'all just like I said it in the other sections of this <laughs> yeah, episode. Yeah. All the guests we've had. Their information will be in the description below. Yes, so sir. check them out and give them a follow. And thank you for yeah. watching. So again, thanks, bro. Right. I heard somebody somebody told me you didn't want to do this one because you already had your own episode and shit. No. I, I, it was kind of like that because it was like, uh, like you know, like they don't want to fucking hear from me again. Bro, everybody loves you, dude. Like it's fucking <laughs> crazy, dog. I know, like a lot of the people that came by are like, oh yeah, Terry, and I'm like, yeah, Terry. <laughs> yeah, uh, Terry. Yeah. I'm fucking tired. So what? How do you feel? Like I know. Uh, what Thomas? Thomas was the one that you don't do anything except this. You're just here all day. <laughs> Damn, babe, say? we're about to start like what you say? staring the pot. <laughs> what, you what you say? And, then, and Kelvin said he has the most knowledge out of all of y'all. I said I don't know, bro. What did Thomas say? Nah, he said like because I asked him. No, uh, what were we talking about? Uh, what like what? Who knew, who did like the business side and? Oh yeah, and he said that you did. because you're pretty much here all the time. He's like he doesn't do nothing but work and shit. You know, pretty oh, much yeah. and shit. So. So he I mean, said, like, you put a lot of the time to, like, the actual do, store like, and everything. Like, a lot of, like, social media shit. I try to do, like, a lot of promotion, social media stuff. Oh, man. You look tired, bro. It's fucking <laughs> crazy. How do you feel about this event? It was crazy. Like, this is this was this was dope. Definitely a good experience. Like, like at least, like, next time when they do it, uh, they'll know, like, you know, what to do. You know, what was, not say wrong, but, like, you learn from this one. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like no, I know learned, we learned from this one. We learned, we from, learned our, from this one, for sure. Yeah, we sure. just learned from ourselves, too. So no one's perfect. No one does everything right the first time, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, well, but this is your second one, right? No, this is, no. this is our first one doing it here. No, here at Post, right? This is our first one. Like, maybe The last time wasn't us. Oh, That was okay. another story, yeah. Another oh, story did it, yeah. I thought that this stuff. Nah, nah, that wasn't no. us, unfortunately, yeah, now. Nah, but and they've I, had Mania Markets. How many have y'all yeah, had of those? We had, uh, I think, four, five Mania Markets, now, I want to say. I lost count. Yeah, yeah, but this okay. one uh, was our first one doing it like this with the collaboration with DFW Vintage Swap Meet. Yeah, I was trying to get Jason on here, but he never yeah, showed he's up. He's a busy but... guy, too. Yeah, yeah. he's like, I know like, you've been I've trying been... to kind of get me and hound me yeah. all day to no, get on, yeah. but I was like... I know, I've been seeing you, like, walking, and then they stop you, and I'm just like, I know he's hella busy. Yeah. Like, yeah. But yeah. I'm kind of glad that it's just, like, a few minutes. Yeah, like, and you I know? was, like, here yesterday from... I got here at 12. We didn't leave till like, 10. Damn. Just to map yeah. it out. When you came by... Today yeah. we got here. I got here at 7:30 in the morning. We're probably ain't leaving till 11 p.m. I know. I um, I talked to who was the last one that we had. The last one. Yeah. I don't know. From like one of the. Oh, team. Kelvin. Okay, cause he came by again, and I, right, that was him. Yeah. Or was yeah. that Thomas? No, Thomas. Thomas came by, but at the end, right now. Yeah. Yeah, Thomas yeah, came and by. And then I was like, oh, he's like, yeah, we gotta clean up, and I'm like, do y'all get? Y'all got a team, and he's like, "Yeah, I'm like, oh, that's so fun. Like the cleanup part is probably like the worst. Like, bro, it's just gonna be like, this shit sucks. Like, it's just gonna take some time, but I don't mind it. Like, it's over at eight. We got like a three-hour window to clean up and get up out of here. I think because uh-huh. that code, I give y'all the code right for, for free parking. Yeah, yeah. That ends at 11 p.m., but y'all should be out by then. Have y'all got some stuff downstairs already? No. Yeah, I already put some stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. Earlier, I ran yeah. to you. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so it should be a good cleanup. It should be good. If not, I don't get my yeah. fucking deposit back, but. <laughs> I'll make sure I clean that. We don't want to. Let's not talk about the deposit because we don't want to bleep that out again. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't gonna say the number, but shit. But so nah, y'all really yeah. gotta like sweep or what? Like we don't sweep it. As long as we don't leave no mess, put everything yeah. back. Like people grab mirrors over there. I gotta check on them too to see if they put the mirrors back on that side. Oh, okay, okay. They grab like this needs to go back over there. I don't know. Uh, yeah, I seen somebody bring it over here. And shit. I know. Yeah. Like, I was like <laughs> napping. It's cool, but it's like. 
put it back, please. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because I have to do it at night. Yeah, because I asked good. him, I'm like, did you bite that? And he's like, nah, you get they it over there. Over there. They have them thrown on the backside. Oh, yeah, and then I was like, oh, that's badass. And then I just, like, we got busy, and then I look back this way, and he's yeah, like, knock the out. fuck out. Like, I was like, yeah, damn. I, bro, I would, I would have been like him, too. I would have been snoring on your podcast. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but no, I do appreciate y'all for coming out, guys. And, well, thank you for uh, inviting us, yeah, honestly. Did y'all enjoy it? It was cool, it was cool. That's why I really wanted you to come. I'm like, bro, you could get so no. much interactions, like, so much shit in a day. We you did, bro. And, honestly, and we did. So, but hey, uh, did you announce who won the... We're doing no, it on we're doing Monday. It on Monday Whenever on the... we release this, the winner's going to be announced, so how'd y'all do it? Uh, just follow the YouTube and then the Instagram and then we have a post that says giveaway and they just gotta tag a friend and shit. And that the, them entering the comment is how we reach out to them. Just so like that they know that they're gonna get the rug, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, so we're gonna do that. Milo's probably gonna end up picking the winner, so uh, Hell yeah. yeah. Well I'm glad that we yeah. were able to uh, Yeah, honestly yeah. this it was, was a really was a good, good learning experience for us. We honestly we gained maybe like I haven't checked, but the last time I checked it was like twenty eight subscribers. Okay. Yeah, that's from good. here. That's and then we, yeah, that's fucking great. That's good, and yeah. then the last time I checked our Instagram, when we got here, we were like at 990. And right now we're like at 1,050 or something. Hell yeah. So we that's gained good. a good that's amount good of following, shit. you know. Yeah. Yeah. That was why we wanted to come, yeah. to put our name out there, like, you Hell know. Yeah. And I feel that's like the well. goal was achieved for us. Hell yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's I, I like hearing people, you know, that, you know, I want everyone to prosper, you know what I'm saying, and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Because this event really wasn't, like, about us. It wasn't about me. It was, like, for other people. You know, we did it yeah. like, City of Houston for someone to have, you know, come out and sell, you know, make some money. I know all of us, like, not say all of us work a job. And then we, despite if we do or we don't, you know, it's, we're running small business still. Yeah, because we, yeah, we talked to, like, uh, like, other people and, like, Rhea. Like, I know she did fucking great. And it was her first pop-up. And I know they're, like, no, ready. She she's, excited. Yeah, yeah she's, she's, like, excited. ready for, like, her next one. So that's yeah, it's like, pretty about us to, to get, see like, it. Yeah. I want to do my next one. I want to do my next one. Like, all right. Wait till you do that one when you're outside. Fuck. I was balls outside, bro. Bro, that shit. I went up to the rooftop right now. Bro. For real? It's fucking hell nine degrees outside. Yes, oh my God, I was sweating, like, coming back up yeah. here, and I didn't even carry but anything. I had, to, I had to get out, though. I had to walk around, bro, and I was like, bro, yeah. I, I've been, you know, all day going back and forth. It's two. It's like, I never really got no, you know, like, real break. Like, when I think have, I have some Let downtime. me ask you, have you ate? We haven't ate. We're no. like... Yeah, we haven't ate shit. We went, I went downstairs, and... The line's um, fucking long. Yeah, and then it was, like, one taco for $7. You know so I was I like, a, holy shit. I had a slice of pizza, a fucking little one, like a... <laughs> Like a share size pizza. Yeah. A slice. <laughs> that my homie Ray brought me. Shout out to Ray. <laughs> God damn. Yeah. The nah, yeah, she, oh, she got all the way to the front of the line and everything, and then they're like, oh, uh, no I cash. I had cash. Bro. And I didn't have my, I literally oh, went no. down there and I'm like, I told him, oh, I'm, I don't have my car. He's like, oh, just take cash. And then I get there and it's like, oh, no cash. And I'm like, okay. Damn, my homie I'm said like, he waited in line for 20 minutes. And when he got up there, they're like, no cash. I'm like, like bro, you damn. fucking weird. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, what? And then she said, no cash in the building. And I was like, Oh, well, we're doing cash. I didn't say anything, but in my mind, I'm like, well, we're doing cash upstairs. So, like, you know. Yeah. But, I mean, it's cool, cool whatever. Man. We're going to go eat some Hooters yeah. after this, yeah. hopefully. Yeah. Yeah. But, again, appreciate you guys having yes. us. You know, Thank you. Big shout out to Terry. This, yeah. he, he's who invited Everybody's us. Everybody's best Mania. friend. Everybody loves this boy, man. <laughs> I know. We're going to put this part of, like, the clip on Instagram so we can get some. Uh, some more interaction. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, that's Terry. I don't know yeah. Terry. But, again, yeah, but, thank uh, you thank so much. Thank you to the city of Houston. Thanks again for everyone that did come. And been so. with us and be here. Even if you came down and uh, we're shopping, if you didn't buy nothing, you bought something, as long as you came by, show love and show support, we would greatly appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah. Appreciate you, bro. All right, That's thank it. Good night. Bye. Peace. Good night, Peace. for real.